appointment of PricewaterhouseCoopers LLP as Tesla's independent public registered accounting firm for the 2023 fiscal year. Number five, to vote on a stockholder proposal included in our proxy statement, which relates to the reporting of key person risk. Number six, to vote on a stockholder proposal, which the stockholders did not seek to have included in our proxy statement. This last board has recommended that our stock, so stockholders vote for each of the director nominees, for the approval by non-binding advisory vote of executive compensation, and the ratification of, an, uh, of appointment of PwC as an independent registered public accounting firm for fiscal year 2023. And every three years, for non-binding advisory vote for the frequency of future votes on executive compensation. With respect to stockholder proposal included in our proxy statement, which relates to the reporting on the key man risk, Karen Roberts Dotier, on behalf of Sumtris, is here to present this proposal. Ms. Roberts Dotier, can you please identify yourself? I would like to invite you to speak. You will have three minutes. I got it. Hello, uh, thank you for having me here today. Under discussion is a shareholder proposal concerning key person risk at Tesla, requiring Tesla's board to draft a report covering the steps taken to ameliorate the potential impacts of loss of key persons in the company. Um, however, before I begin, I would first like to say thank you to Mr. Musk. For so many of us, you stepped into fields where we had so desperately wanted to see change, and through bringing in a talented team, willing to put in the long hours, you dragged reluctant industries kicking and screaming into a better future, and for that, um, thank you. Building up this uh, juggernaut around us, which as you largely put it, uh, runs itself these days. Um, well, thank you for that. And yet, now here we are today, at a time when Tesla's technological leadership should be on display. The investment community largely sees us as a drift, with management focused on all the matters not Tesla, watching as Tesla's brand favorability drop by 15 points last year, something that costs us margins. We have such a spectacular product pipeline and a team that knows how to execute at scale with low cost of goods sold something that we are not being properly recognized for. It should go without saying, but apparently bears repeating, that if you cannot produce with low cogs, you have no future. When I look around the auto industry these days, I see a lot of companies that have no future. Um, and that's a success on behalf of an